Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a little word of encouragement now that I've done the little spooky stuff. I want to ask you to please be very careful about not allowing yourself to panic. Sometimes God allows things to happen, but he knows who belongs to him. You hear me? So what you want to make sure of is that you stay prayed up. You, This is the time to stay close to God. Draw close to him if you're not. And the reason I say that is because one night, for example, I was walking down the street at nine at night, and it was a fully dark night. And I heard God's voice. And God said, cross over to the other side. And on the other side, there was a bunch of guys that I didn't know. Never saw them on my block before. And I'm bringing this up to the voice, knowing it was God. And God says again, but more fervently, cross over to the other side. Now, by the third one, cross over to the other side. No! I mean, I, I just went. But do you know, what if I hadn't had a relationship with God? What if I didn't have Jesus in my heart? I wouldn't have known there was danger right past the wall of a driveway where a big black burly dog with his tail sticking out like an arrow was glaring at me, waiting to pounce. I wouldn't have known it. It would have been over. I would have been hurt badly. That's why we need to hear God's voice. God loves us. Oh my goodness, if you just only could know how much. God revealed his love to me. So I don't have a doubt there. You hear me? You know, we doubt things in life, but that's one thing I don't doubt. I know he loves me, which means he has my best interest at heart, which means he's going to protect me too and warn me. Now, you need to seek God. You need to go to God and ask him to speak to you and open your ears, your mind, your heart, your soul to hear his voice when it's needed. Because you don't want to miss a warning. What if you get ready to go out of your house and you're getting ready to go to the grocery store? Well, it's normal. It's a nice evening. You want to get out. And you hear God say, get back in the house now and lock the door. Or you're getting ready to go out of the house and you don't hear a voice. But an alarm inside of you says, oh, I better get back inside. I don't like that feeling I got. And you lock up and secure everything. You don't know what's going to be going on out there. You don't know who might be running from the police. Who could take you hostage? You have no idea the dangers that will be lurking in these latter days. I'm telling you, there are going to be dangers seen and unseen. And we have to depend on the awareness, the eyesight, the all-knowing power of God to keep us safe and alive. Listen to me, you guys. We really need to hear from God. And we need to be able to by giving him our hearts. You can't turn the light switch on if you don't have an electrical source. You can't hear God's voice if there's no connection. Get connected. Do yourself and your loved ones a favor. Get connected. Today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Please take heed to the warning. Please. We need God in these days more than ever. More than ever. Now some of you are sitting there feeling all cynical 
You're having a little wisecrack flooding through your mind. And you can do that all you want. But that's what happened in the days of Noah too. They made fun of him. He lived. And they died. Take heed, you guys. Please. Amen. 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 Boy, I hope you guys are listening. I really do. 